Now, there's not just nail guns out there. There are still hammers. And we received a tweet from Ginadella Block. She writes, hey, Docs, I smashed my finger with a hammer. It's all swollen with blood under the nail. What should I do? You all ever heard of the subungual hematoma? Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fancy word for blood under, under the, nail. the nail. We've got a few right. pictures of this. Dr. Warden, tell people what's going on mm -hmm. here. Well, what, what has happened that's they've obviously sustained trauma, blunt trauma, to the big toe here. And what's happened that you form blood between your nail bed and immediately underneath that nail. So that blood is collected in that space, doesn't have anywhere to go, very painful. You want to get that blood out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to drain that blood because of the pressure there. And if you've damaged the nail bed enough, Sometimes we have to take that fingernail off and repair the nail bed exactly. itself. Now, what we'll do if you come in and you have a big hematoma, subungual hematoma like that is, you know, there are various options. You can use electric cautery, using that heat to, to break into that hematoma to let it drain. Uh, you can use needles, sometimes 18-gauge needle. But one of the things that we also do, depending upon where you work, you can actually take a paper clip. Now, here's the key. I'm not recommending you do this at home because it has to be done under completely sterile conditions. Okay. So I don't want to be responsible when someone ends up with a big infection in their Has anybody their tried bed. this ever? But you heat, the drain? No. you heat I have. the edge. <laughs> and then, of course, that sterilizes it. You make sure this is sterile. You go into the middle of that hematoma, and the heat will actually work its way through. And like you're seeing there, you're going to get drainage. And, and you want, of course, the hole to be big enough to get all that blood out of there. You can apply you know a little what? gentle you're going, pressure. Ooh, you're going to feel pretty good so immediately. When that blood, blood comes out, you're going to feel a lot better. And this is actually what, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And you'll see all that blood comes out, that, that relief and pressure. And what you're trying to do is, you know, you want to save that nail. Mm -hmm. Can't emphasize enough, though, when something like this is then opened up to the environment, there is a certain risk for infection. That's why you have to make sure it's always done under sterile conditions by someone who knows what they're doing.